Hello all, here's a little script I've been working on. It's not much as of right now, and it doesn't have any kind of protections against cross-site request forgery and so forth, though I've done what I can to mitigate XSS. What this script is supposed to do is look at your current log file and parse out various things that might be of interest to you from a security perspective. The settings you have to make are here at the top, essentially access log path, wherever that log is, error path, where your HT access file is, and what IPs are allowed to connect. It can even be a full IP or a range. And then of course an admin password. I plan on adding more features as time goes by and probably some other mitigations. But let's actually see what this app gives us. You see I've got it running on irongeek.com. already have the password in there. If I wasn't coming from an IP that was valid, it would give me a warning message about that and not let me actually connect. So let's log in, and here's the first thing it shows you on the front screen. Now I'm looking for the top 403s, 404s, and 500 errors. The reason I'm doing this is, it seems that frequently various types of web vulnerability scanners will leave all sorts of 404s and 403s in your logs because they're not actually requesting stuff that's valid for them to request. So you get things like forbidden or file doesn't exist. And here's a bunch of the different things that have been making various oddball requests. We can drill down a little bit. For instance, let's take a look at this one I've already banned. As you can see, it keeps trying to do remote file includes on my site. It's not succeeding, but it doesn't keep it from trying over and over and over again. By the way, strangely enough, I've been seeing this exact same user agent on a whole lot of other requests just like this from all sorts of different IPs. It's kind of odd automated traffic and I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with that. Because you have a regex search you can do right here and uh, shows you a little bit of quick information about any particular site or any particular IP address. Like I'm not going to ban that one since that one belongs to Google's bot. I definitely want to keep it though it's probably requesting some pages that aren't quite valid. Maybe someone mistyped my link someplace on another website and it's coming to spider it. Also, we can cross click on info. We want to find out more information about any one of these IPs. And that's going to take us off to Rob Text, eventually at least. I'll come back to that. For whatever reason, my home connection seems to be having uh, some problems actually connecting. I'll show you some of the other features in the meantime. I have it where it can grab various uh, common attacks. For instance, this is a grab for common path transversals. This one's kind of neat. Someone tries to get something in the, the environment by, let's say, changing a user agent string to something that's going to include another PHP file and gets a web shell on you that way. And of course, there's the standard grabbing for passwords. I also have specifically just show password grabs, though you'll see a lot of crossover between these two categories. The show RFIs in general remote file includes. Now, there was a whole lot of that semi automated traffic I kept telling you about, but also the also occasionally you'll go in here and you'll find some kind of shell trying to be included. Like you'll see someone request uh, something.txt. So let's actually edit find. Let's see if we can find a txt in there someplace. Ah yes. If I was actually going to check this out, this is probably a web shell of some variety. Let's go back here to Rob Text. And you see I have more information on that particular IP address I was looking at, which is where we knew before was Google. But this gives me a lot more details and I can go look at Rob Text for more information. Let's go check out that URL I copied and pasted. And apparently that URL is no longer valid, but at one time probably that, oh sorry, didn't copy it up. Well, I keep messing that up. Alright, let's see if that will go there now. Nope, still not valid. Uh, probably at one point in time someone actually had a web shell out there, but not anymore. Let's keep looking for another one. Oh, okay, maybe this one. This is a pretty good way of collecting web shell samples if you really want to. Yep, there's an actual web shell. I might need to save that one for later on and look at it. Some other features, let me go ahead and scroll back up to the top. I can show all the five XX's, so all the 403's. I can also show the error log which uh, DreamHost keeps for me. And uh, I can show what the current HT access file looks like. But let's go back here 
and actually show well actually let me show you the HT access there's a little feature I've added on this right here this little comment my script looks for this comment and then adds new denies below it so let's say I see some traffic I don't like and I automatically want to essentially uh, get rid of all that person trying to communicate with me or at least um, give them a forbidden message I can go out here and make sure the traffic is first of all something I want to get rid of uh, that one may be legitimate I can't quite tell it's requesting stuff that shouldn't be there but it's not totally indicative of attack traffic let's find one that is ah uh, yes that one's definitely one I probably want to get rid of so let's go ahead go in there I can hit shit can and it comes back you see it's already been shit canned and I can go through and basically uh, ban IPs that I don't like but that's pretty much all my script does for right now it's still a work in progress so let me know what you think if you have any ideas of stuff I can add to it.